Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Nick here. It is 12.32 on this Wednesday, December 15th. And we are 10 days away from Christmas. Well, 9 if you don't count today. It's Advent Week 3, and Week 3 is joy. A couple of announcements before we jump into it. One being this weekend, another trip to Rhode Island will commence. That'll be this Friday, the 17th, through Sunday afternoon, the 19th. And, of course, with the holiday next week. And, obviously, we will not be going. We will be spending Christmas here. Also, this weekend, might go up to Boston solo to finish off shopping for mom and dad. I have a Wilbur update for you. Uh... Our, our little friend seems to have been making a recovery in whatever ways that he can. Uh, his numbers have gone down. Uh, he's exhibiting his usual behavior, which is something that we thought we would not see just 13 days ago. So it's amazing how our positive thinking and positive reinforcement has helped this helped much our much loved. Boston Terrier. And that's something that I will be bringing up again in when it comes to prayer. Are there any other announcements that have to come before the congregation at this time? Thank you. Yes, there will be a Christmas Eve service. That will be Friday December 24th at 9 p.m. So as the world waits for Santa, we'll be doing that as well. So we come before him today. As the anticipation builds, and the excitement and joy of this time of year, we can worship our living Lord who is alive in us and through us each and every day as we begin with Joy to the World. Number 270 in Celebration.
Under the glories of his righteousness, wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love. Wonders of his love. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we come before you today on a very beautiful Wednesday afternoon. That we can think about the joy that, that we will see in just nine days' time. You bring joy to us each and every day. To the gift of Jesus and the gift of yourself. That we can come to you and worship you at whatever day. It doesn't have to be just on Sunday. It doesn't even have to be in a sanctuary. It can be right here in our own home in this studio. So today as we worship you, lead us with a heart, mind, and spirit to worship you and to recognize that you are our living Lord who is alive in us and through us through the gift of Jesus and through the gift of yourself. And with that in mind, we, we, we think of the sacrifice and praise that we that we give to you in Jesus name amen So we bring the sacrifice and praise. Two thirteen. Please be seated. All right. So the anthem today
is Advent Trilogy. All right, thank you, choir. That sounded that was sounded very fun. So we come to the place of prayer, another plan that we can be joyful about, where we can bring our lives and the lives of others that we know. Of course, we want to think about our dear friend Wilbur. We also want to think about kind of what this in between semesters will look like. We also want to think about that holiday break. So with all that in mind, I but you, you know how this goes. And, I, and of course, I'll let you lift up those that are on your mind. So, will you please turn with me to number 681, In His Time. We'll say the first verse, pray, and then the second verse. Excuse me, we'll be right back. In his 
this time. He made all things beautiful in his time. Lord, please show me every day as you're teaching me your way that you do just what you say in your time. Lord, this afternoon we come before you, where we can take a little bit of time out of our day to quiet our hearts, and in prayer we can do that. The joy of prayer means that we can have a private conversation with you about whatever is going on. Through the joys of this time of year. And also some areas of concern. But you can take all of those concerns and work with them to make them into something positive. We thank you for helping me get through another odd semester. Finish it off in, in the middle of the road average, about a C. And now we and now this opportunity to take a break from school and focus more on getting that new car. We thank you for Wilbur's recovery and and knowing that every day that he is still here is joyful. But of course, through all these through this goodness, there is also areas of concern. For example, Lord, we would pray for Josh Rotella in this weekend that there would be more excitement and more action. Encourage him to just try it, to go on, be trained to Boston, even if it's even if it was only just a couple of hours. Remind him that that it's only a quick trip. We would pray, too, that the communication between him and I would be more clearer and more one-on-one. -on -one. We would pray for Ken Phelps in Milltown that whatever mindset he, that he thinks it's okay to just ignore people, that we would pray, Lord, that you would encourage him to reach out and Try to figure this out. Figure out a way that to communicate with him and how a visit can commence. And for those of you at home, we pause. And we let the viewers lift up whoever is on their mind.
So it's to that end. You bring joy to the world. And, you're, and you continue to show us the good. Even, even in a pandemic. As it is in that prayer you taught us saying together. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. As earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In your time. In your time. You make all things beautiful. In your time, Lord, my life to you I bring. May each song I have to say be to you a lovely thing in your time. So when negativity comes positivity, and that positivity is the gift that he gives to us in our lives. Whether it's a bad say, a new car, a new relationship, and a new hope. So with that in mind, I invite you to please subscribe to this channel. And be sure to check out some of my other videos as well. So the offertory today. that one. Is great light. And with the ushers, please come forward as we receive the afternoon's gifts and offering.
Please rise. <laughs> Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end amen amen where it's true you are the great light that comes to the world that you light our path even even now so take these gifts and multiply them and make yourself known throughout the world as we wait for that new car a new job, and a new hope. So all this we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we'll be, and we will step aside, and we'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. Okay. So, the read today comes from Luke chapter 1. So, Luke chapter 1. So many others have tried their hand and put together a story of the wonderful harvest of scripture and history that took place in one end. Using reports handed down by the original eyewitnesses who served this word with their very lives. Since I have investigated all the reports in close detail starting from the story's beginning, I decided to write it all out for you, most Arbothalopolis. So you can know beyond the shadow of a doubt the reliability of what you were taught. During the rule of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest assigned service in the regiment of Abishah. His name was Zechariah. His wife was descended from the daughters of Aaron. Her name was Elizabeth. Together they lived honorably before God, careful in the keeping to the ways of the commandments, and enjoying a clear conscience before God. But they were childless because Elizabeth could never conceive, conceive, and now they were quite old. It so happened that as Zechariah was carrying out his priestly duties before God, working the shift assigned to his regiment, it came his one turn in life to enter the sanctuary of God and burn incense. The congregation was gathered and praying outside the temple at the hour of the incense offering. Unannounced, an angel of God appeared just to the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was paralyzed in fear. But the angel reassured him, Don't fear, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Elizabeth, your wife, will bear a son by you. You are to name him John. You're going to leap like a gazelle for joy, and not only you. Many will delight at his birth. He'll achieve great stature with God. He'll drink neither wine nor beer. He'll be filled with the Holy Spirit from the moment he leaves his mother's womb. He will turn many sons and daughters of Israel. Excuse me. Uh, he will turn many sons and daughters of Israel back to their God. He will herald the 
God's arrival and the style and strength of Elijah softened the hearts of parents to children and kindled them out. I'm just saying that my heart is skeptic. He'll get the people ready for God. <laughs> okay. So I call this message Finding Joy. As you know, 2021 has been a year of ups and downs. A couple of key moments this year. Obviously, we have the tragedy, losing the Elantra. Back in late May. And, you know, not that long ago, losing Charlie, which was completely unexpected. So how have we found joy through two horrific tragedies? Very easily. We have taken... A negative situation and it turned it into a positive. For example, the trad like with losing my car, we've been able to drive around using Ramos. And soon be able to do it again on our own. Now, thanks to our friends at Amtrak, we, I have been able to move around using that resource as well. Let's think about losing Charlie. Because that's really the heart of this message. This is how we have turned a negative situation into a positive. Losing Charlie was heartbreaking. Just think, just think about that, guys. You were with him for 15 months. And then all of a sudden, to just turn a blind eye he just walked away from it all. But no rhyme or reason that you would think that was coming. You wouldn't think so. Because I thought things were going better between us. You just don't know. We don't know what was going on in his mind. I'm sure he doesn't even know what was going on in his mind at the time. But as we sit here, two months later, we have found an answer. Now, just so you know, when I say we, I mean I. I have found an answer. And that answer is Josh in Rhode Island. He is the answer. Bring in that joy, that's the happiness. And finding this answer in this Christmas season where, you know, you hear me talk about all this high, waiting for a new hope, waiting for a new relationship. Guess what? My have found it looks like I found one. It's amazing how quickly things can happen. Now don't get me wrong, it still bothers me to this day of of the things that happened before. I think it would bug anybody. 
But you know what? We're not going to let that stop us. As I told you in the Thanksgiving Eve service, Charlie has no control over my life now. He cannot... Let me say this again. He cannot control who I hang out with and what I do with other people. He has he does not have that control anymore. Not to mention he didn't really have that control anyway. Because he had nothing to worry about. Because most of the time in between visits, we were here. Or we were with Grandma, who lives next door. So we found joy in Josh. We turned a negative situation into a positive, which is, okay, so every week now we go to Rhode Island. With one weekend off. That was the deal. Okay, there you go. Problem solved. But let's talk about what happened with UPS. Because I received a lot of questions on exactly how that came about. And so I just wanted to take some time and actually explain to you guys exactly how that happened. So... I was hired back in November, the early stages of November, to be a driver's helper for this time of year. Now, I went through the training and, you know, I went to orientation and so on. And, but the problem was, there were only five days of doing It was 11, 16 through 18 and 11.30. Or excuse me, four days of actual doing. There were two main reasons why. One being, there were no routes available anymore in the Lebanon area. Okay, but the other reason is because there were signs that I made the drivers a little uncomfortable talking about the situation with Charlie. Now, obviously, we didn't mean to make them uncomfortable, but what blows my mind is... Why was it okay for them to talk about what they were doing with their misses not day in and day out? How is that okay? But yet me talking about a traumatic experience is not okay. How is that okay? Josh had the same thing happen to him at Dunkin' Donuts over a simple text message. That is disgusting. It's ridiculous. There should have been a conversation with the drivers with them saying, hey, you're making me ha say, hey, I feel a little uncomfortable talking about this. Can we change the subject? I would have obliged. I would have said, okay. I was like, okay. I would have been like, okay, let's talk about something else. That's all they had to do. But they didn't have to go to HR and to say, and to say, oh, he was making me uncomfortable. Now, most of these people, obviously, I think, have a problem with gay relationships. Now, what they're talking about in incense is Zachariah was a priest. He's basically on stage lighting candles. 
and when the angel Gabriel come to him and said, you will bear a son and you will call him John. John was the was who Israel thought was their Lord. And he was preparing the way for Jesus. So, if you think about in that sense, so God came down and set, told me, you know what? You can correct this. And that's exactly what I have done. Corrected a situation by finding someone new. And having that ability to visit them week in and week out is good. It gives a routine. And I'm a big stickler for routine. And just like with Wilbur, what looked like another tragedy in 2021, it's been a turnaround. He is actually with dad as we speak. So it's amazing how God works in our lives. And in this Christmas season, think about the joy that you have in your life. I close with this thought. Would it be different? Would it be different if those things didn't happen this year? We don't know. We don't know. But what we do know is, is so close to having that new car and having that independence again to be able to go to QB, which we actually were at on Monday for the first time in nearly a year and a half. It was a lot more livelier than the last time I was up there. So there is a lot to be, there is joy here. And I think it's fantastic that my old friend Ken reached out on Monday. Now we got to get him to have a little bit more consistency in his communication. But that is something that we will talk about at a later time. So that is today's message. Finding joy in the midst of two tragedies. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the gift of joy. And thank you for the opportunity to, when we ha when one tragedy happens, you're right there immediately to clean it up. And what 2021 has showed us again and again, that no matter what happens, there is an answer. Sometimes the answer is a lot more complex. But a simple answer is the gift of you. And so as we leave this sacred place, lead us out of here and back into the world. Amen. So closing him today is 2117, Spirit of God. Spirit of God, bright wind, breathe up its life, begin, blow as you always do, create us anew, give us the breath to say, lifted on soaring wing, 
held in your hands, born on your wings. Alleluia, come Spirit, come. Alleluia, come Spirit, come to the dim. Spirit of God, bright of grant us your peace and love. Healing upon your wings for all living things. For when we live, your peace captives will find release. Held in your hands, born on your ways. Alleluia, come Spirit, come. Alleluia, come Spirit, come. Da -da -da. Spirit of God, bright as even in far off lands, you hold all the human race in one warm embrace. No matter where we go, you hold us together, so held in your hands, born on your wings. Alleluia, come Spirit, come. Alleluia, come Spirit, come. Da -da -da. Spirit of God, bright flame, send us in your holy name the power to heal, to share your love everywhere. We cannot fail or fall or no defeat at all, held in your hands, born on your wings. Alleluia, come Spirit, come. Alleluia, come Spirit, come. Dun, dun, dun. Spirit of God in all, we gladly hear your call. The life in our hands that saved the power of your ways. Born of your grace, we rise, love shining in our eyes, held in your hands, born on your wings. Alleluia, come, Spirit, come. Alleluia, come, Spirit, come. Receive the benediction. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he show you the joy of life. And to enjoy the moment. Because tomorrow is never promised. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thanks for watching.